Debbie Farinella. I'm on the creative design team at Sizzix, and I'm here at the booth at Creativation to show you all of the wonderful things that our companies come up with for the show. We're mainly known for die cutting and die cutting machines, but we have a lot of new projects that we've come up with that I'd love to take you through. I'm here in our living room to show you the different things that we've done with the additional dies that we've come up with. Some are stenciling, some are using our pom-pom, and some are different home decor that you can use in fabric. On the table here, we've cut out one of our dies and used the negative space to create a stencil technique on one of our end tables using our stencil film, which is a new line that we've come out with this show. Over here, We've cut out some of our wildflowers with fabric, a little fusible web on the back side of it, and adhere it to a pillowcase for part of your home decor. With our quilt line, we've come out with some dies, and here it's, you're able to cut eight layers of fabric at a time so you can get your appliques going and your quilt making with ease. Our pom-pom maker is one of our new products this show. It comes with four different sizes. We've also come out with yarn, so you can create a beautiful wall panel just like this. And then using some of our paper products, you can use the die cutting to create different home decor designs to go on your wall. And here's some more examples using appliques and the dies that you can either use fabric or paper, but we've done it here with our quilting and also to create a design on a pillow. So to make your days at home more exciting and have your crafting and homework uh, moments a little more fun, we've created a little area here with different desk accessories to show you what you can do to make your desktop a little more fun. Same flowers that we've used in the past, either with fabric, we've created a little motif here on a pencil case, envelope liners, a beautiful lay stacked with flowers, and using our shadow box, we've created different techniques. Up here, we have our washi tape, we have a really fun mini album, and this is using different pages and tabs all in one pass. You can get all this done. Another stencil technique with using any kind of paints, this one we've used acrylic. You use the negative space, cut it out, and you can decorate your lamp area. And now it's lunchtime, so welcome to the kitchen. We've created some different techniques that you could use using a stencil. Same idea as I showed you earlier, or you can cut it out with vinyl and decorate some different of your accessories that you have, canisters or teapots. We've created a really cute um, motif on a lunchbox, all with fabric, felt. It makes your kids' lunch at school a little more exciting. We've done the same idea on some dish towels. Cut it out, add it on, stitch around it. And how about this beautiful vase? We cut vinyl and just decorate it around the bottom of the vase. And it looks like it's hand painted, but it actually is just stenciled vinyl stuck right on. You could create your own recipe box, different labels for your canisters. This is another stenciling technique. And one of my favorites are these beautiful flowers that we have in the kitchen. Up here, we've done some more flowers, more stenciling, and it makes your kitchen a lot more fun to create, cook, and enjoy your dinner. And welcome to the kids area. We have created some really cute ideas for the kids to enjoy. They can either make them themselves or you can create them for them. Using some of our little dies, you can create a little matching game on these little stencil blocks that we have. It's almost like a little Scrabble type game, but for the matching, a little game that they can create, a little button idea. Just die cut one of our shapes and lay the buttons on top for a little fun little activity. Up here we have one of our little garlands. It's a three-dimensional garland that adds a little decor to your area. Some boxes, some bookmarks, and using another little box idea, whether you put a gift in it or you create a little game, learning different techniques on counting, different little fun activities the kids could do. Using felt, we've created some different little hand puppets. Just die cut it twice and you can create a little theater play for the kids. Another fun box idea we've come out with is using our box wedding. This is the same exact die, but used in different ways, either created with a little detail or just basic and plain. We have our robots, a fun little headband for the kids during springtime, and all sorts of other accessories and games to enjoy their afternoon, whether hanging out with mom or dad at home. 
and welcome to Tim Holtz Garden Shed. Here in the Sizzix booth, we've created a lot of spring type flower designs using all different paper products, die cutting, stenciling, embossing, painting with all sorts of different type of materials, metals, fabric, and different twine ideas. So in our garden shed here, we've come out with some new spring and travel ideas, starting out with some beautiful floral, bugs, showing you the different dimensional things you can do with our flowers, building them, layering them, different mediums you could use, burlap, inking, foils. And over here in the corner, we have some of our new travel line, and they work really well with our dimensional domes for all of your summer and springtime travels coming up. So for all the men in your life or young little fellas, we have some great masculine cards using some of the different designs that can add a little warmth to their holiday or their birthdays or Father's Day with the different graphics, the different embossing with the inking and the foils. It gives a little masculine flair to any of your projects. We have a lot of new dinosaur and robotic ideas here. A lot of them are perfect because those are both trending different projects that you can do that a lot of the young kids enjoy. Using different retro techniques and other springtime florals, we have some ideas. If you remember back in our children's area, we had the little banner. Here's another idea of using it to make it a little more feminine and perfect for Mother's Day. Over here, I'm bringing you down to some more springtime ideas using our butterflies, an Easter technique, using an oval window with a bunny. It's a perfect little springtime card. We have some cute little tags for any type of holiday or baby gift. And down here, we have different ideas that you can use with inking, more springtime, more travel. We also have a lot of little felting techniques on some beautiful pillows that you can use for home decor. Over here, here's another idea, just doing a little more home decor in a little teacup. It's all paper and it just adds a little more jazz to your uh, tabletops at home. And finally, with some of our lacing, We have some great ideas that you can see using flowers for springtime, a little message, and with a background for a front, a card front. It's a great idea to share with those that you want to mail something special to. Thank you all for stopping by visiting our booth. We hope we've inspired you to create some new projects for home, for friends, and for yourself. Thank you again for stopping by our booth at Sizzix at Creativation in Phoenix. We hope we've inspired you with some of our new projects to create things for home, for friends, or for yourselves. Think outside the box, no more die cutting only. We've got a lot of things to share and hopefully the things that you've seen have inspired you to do so.